US commentator Dr. James Boys, who's in the studio this morning. Good, Good to see you. you. We're back to that perennial problem, aren't we, with uh, television debates for politicians. It's not so much about what you say, mm -hmm. it's how you say it. Very much so, but uh, there's an awful lot that's going on in the details here. I mean, Dominic was rightly pointing out the fact that uh, Joe Biden's going to be criticised an awful lot for his smirk. Uh, Twelve years ago, Al Gore had an initial debate with George W. Bush that on the surface he won. What cost him that debate in terms of moving forward was his version of this. Uh, Al Gore was seen to be doing a lot of huffing and puffing and condescending towards George W. Bush off screen. And in a split screen performance, you saw Joe Biden grinning and smirking when the discussion turned to casualties in Afghanistan and uh, matters which really should have been taken far more seriously. So silly little things like that can really pay an awful lot of, uh, of traction with regard to these debates. And what about this perennial issue of, of looking directly at the camera? by which mm -hmm. you end up looking directly at the oh, people absolutely. at home, at the voters. Yeah, I mean, we learned all this here in the UK from Nick Clegg, didn't we? Absolutely. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and we saw this last week. Uh, in the closing remarks, the candidates are expected to look the American electorate dead in the eye and ask for their vote. Barack Obama failed to do so until the last moments of his uh, debate last week. Uh, the vice president again failed to do so. And yet, look, we have a classic example here of exactly how to do it. Uh, Congressman Ryan looking straight down the barrel, looking into the eyes of the American electorate and vitally asking them for their vote. People give to people who ask. And in this case, you have to say Paul Ryan sealed the deal with many American electors last night, I think. What about the policy detail in all of this? Joe Biden, we know, is a, is a foreign policy yes. expert. Paul Ryan isn't. He's not, and that came through very clear last night. The two main areas were clearly on foreign policy and domestic welfare. And in both cases, you saw both men very much playing to their strengths. Uh, Joe Biden stressing his foreign policy experience, focusing on that side of things and doing rather well. Uh, whereas you saw uh, Ryan very hesitant on that area, much ha happier on welfare. Uh, whether one agrees or disagrees with their uh, interpretation of policy, there's no doubt that they had their areas of strength and played very much to them last night. So we're back to the old situation then, where it, it is performance that matters more than, more than anything else in this. It is, I'm afraid, but that was true going in. And mm. what both men needed to do last night was try and keep a sense of momentum going. Uh, clearly, it was very important uh, for the Republicans uh, that they maintain that momentum that Mitt Romney picked up last week and that uh, Joe Biden do his very best to help uh, his boss, Barack Obama. Has he done enough? We shall see moving forward in the coming weeks. Fascinating stuff. We'll be talking to you again. I Look know. Forward to it. James, thanks, thank Stephen. you. Cheers.